last video I want to get into and make um, and continue the um, last part of the um, last video that I was um, making. If there are other Republicans that you know get into the White House, the Senate, or whatever, or in Congress, which we already know um, Kevin McCarthy is one of those Republicans in the um, Congress or um, is being Speaker of the House, which I would imagine that would be Congress or the Senate. And, yeah, I know there are Republicans that can make very, very bad decisions. Very, very bad decisions indeed. And if, uh, if there were other Republicans that actually, um, actually, if there are like, say if we had another Republican as president other than Donald J. Trump, who was absolutely like, you know, made some very, very stupid decisions, made the same kind of decisions, almost like what Trump has actually made. If there, if there was like a crazy um, Republican politician that became president of the United States from 2024 to 2028, then pretty much this would mean that the United States would pretty much be, um, pretty much be, um, done for, almost. Uh, if there was another Republican that became president and followed in, um, Trump's foot, footsteps and that stuff and did everything that Donald J. Trump did, as president of the United States from 2016 to 2020, if there's a Republican that, you know, is in his shoes, it being Trump's shoes, if this Republican does the same thing that Donald J. Trump do did to the country and wants to be, you know, do absolutely crazy things to the American people, and that stuff, I couldn't imagine how crazy the next Republican after Trump would actually be. And it, it, it just wouldn't even look good at all. Now, on the other hand, a lot of people are just are not liking Joe Biden because of his age and stuff. And... I think Joe Biden is pretty much unfit for running as president of the United States again because of his age and yeah it's it's bad but if I really wanted the country to be um if I really wanted the next president to be, <clears throat> um, having a heart for the country, I would like that more than having a, uh, a crazy president of the United States that actually would have, um, that would actually, um, do a bunch of crazy things that a lot of the American people would not even like. So yeah, there are crazy Republicans everywhere. <clears throat> There's crazy Republicans everywhere. Some of them, some, some Republicans Do have a country for the heart, or do have a heart for the country. 
Like some Republicans have hearts for the United States and some Republicans believe in democracy. Like they believe in U.S. democracy. And that's exactly what we actually need as president of the United States. Not some stupid, pathetic lunatic running the country as president of the United States. Because then, you know what would happen? Another January, or I shouldn't say January 6th insurrection. Another insurrection would be made at the, could be, um, there could be another insurrection of the United States. And will we know exactly what date the second insurrection would actually take place? Obviously, no. But if it ended up having to take place on uh, a, a date somewhere in February before President's Day came around, um, then we would know about it. And there could be some similar charges brought to um, whoever this individual was who... Um, did like some kind of insurrection, some way to cause another insurrection in the United States. And this person would actually get at least the similar kind of problem that Donald Trump has actually gotten now that he's, um, now that he it has been, um, now that he, since he's called an insurrection of the United States, Donald Tr J. Trump is getting all of his, he's getting indicted multiple times because of all of his criminal activities he's done. And this could happen to the next, um, wacko, psycho, lunatic of the United States or anybody who attempts to actually try to overthrow democracy and, you know, um, attack um, people's voting rights and uh, a bunch of other crimes that could end up being a little bit similar to what Trump's crimes are. Uh, the next person who... The next, um, the next person in the, um, oh, in, in the Senate or Congress or, you know, whatever, in the military or the U.S. government, whoever, I don't care, but if any one of those people were to try to attempt the straw the or let me rephrase that. If anybody tried to attempt again what Trump did on January sixth, um you're dead wrong that you'll be able to get away with it. Cause eventually you don't get away with it. And so far What's going on with Donald J. Trump? Eventually, there's no escape. There is no escape for Donald J. Trump. And eventually, he's going to have to go to jail. And he's eventually going to have to go to prison. And he may not want to shut his own mouth, but there's a way, possibly, that law enforcement will get him to stay quiet. And if law enforcement, that this is pathetic, but if law enforcement has to, they would pretty much have to, you know, maybe duct tape, duct tape his mouth shut, which probably be abusive. Yeah, I mean, I don't 
consider people duct tape being their mouths shut, but if there is something that the law enforcement could do to get Donald Trump to just shut his mouth and stay silent and that stuff, then if they have to, by force, they could make him, you know, shut up permanently. And then when he's in jail or prison, his inmates are probably going to be um, fueled with um, that Trump hatred and have hatred for him, which is not going to look good for him, and on him anyway. It won't look good for Donald J. Trump. And, like, again, I don't hate anybody in the whole entire world. I don't. But if other people hate Donald J. Trump for what he's done, then I gotta say, shame on you for hating a real bad criminal. And maybe you, maybe there's just people that just hate Donald Trump for what kind of a person he is, and maybe people just hate Donald J. Trump personally for what he's done. I obviously don't want to be um, a man of hatred to anybody. That's just that's just other people. Anyway, um, yeah, pay attention to the um, Republican debate, and she becomes president of, or be, who becomes the next um, senator to actually face Joe Biden, which Joe Biden is planning to run again in 2024. So the next Republican would have to face Joe Biden. If Joe Biden can, you know, get past the um, Democratic debate, if Donald J. Trump wins that Republican debate, then it's pretty much going to be, you know, that insane debate, the, the same first debate that had um, moderator um, Chris Wallace of Fox News, the former Fox News anchor. And this time, Chris Wallace is um, going to be part of CNN. If he becomes moderator again, which I'm probably sure, maybe they'll find, maybe he'll be moderator again, or maybe they'll find somebody else. I think it was pretty overwhelming in that one um, presidential debate for Chris Wallace to be, um, I think it was an overwhelming job for him to be moderator back then. So they probably find somebody else to run the presidential, the Democrat and Republican presidential debate. They probably find somebody else to run it. But yeah. But whatever Republican would probably get past a Republican debate, I'm sure that there will be a crazy one that gets past there. And that's what I think we should actually, you know, be aware of. Like, we don't need some wacko Republican in the, to be um, president of the United States and start making all this, uh, passing all these executive orders that, you know, just don't run the country. And most importantly, this Republican whoever, whichever Republican were to get into the White House, if that Republican sends the military over to Ukraine, this would indeed start a World War III. And it would not look good. This is John Morris. Have a good day. You know, I'd be highly aware of if there is another Republican that actually gets to be 
elected as president of the United States other than Trump. And hopefully 